How does your person feel about you at the moment? Well, let's find out. I'm Claire Louise Hay from BeHealing.com. Welcome to my channel. Uh, this is a timeless reading. Whenever you're finding this video, it's good to watch. I've made three readings here. Each one of them has got a deeper dive to it. That's an extended reading that goes with it. If you find that it is your story, could be a story, want it to be a story, then you might want to get that for even more. If you do, toward the end of these readings, we'll be popping a link for up there. And you can also find a link for that in the description box and in the comments below. In the description box in the comments below is where you can find your timestamps to fast forward to your reading as well. So all you need to do now is take a pick. Which one would you like? Would you like the crystal? The crystal, this Labradorite, is out with the Respect card. Or would you like the flower? The flower is out with the Hope card. Or would you like the shell? And the shell is out with the Flirt card. So take a pick now and don't forget to click like before you click off down there. Click that subscribe button if you're new and leave a comment. That'll get you an entry into a prize draw for a free reading with me at the end of the month. As we'll get in those deeper dives as well. If you purchase that, that'll get you entered into the second prize draw. So two chances to win a private reading with me worth 160 Australian dollars with this um, video. Now I do a today's tarot every single day of the year here on my channel. I also go live three times a week in my Psychic Cafe show where I Give one question readings amongst other things. You can book in for one of those one question readings on my website, behealing.com at any time. Find a link for that in the description box below and also up there too. Made them available to everyone. So all the pre-booked readings I do right at the start of the next live show, then send you the link to the replay. So if you can't make it to my live, you can still get one. You can watch it afterward. Uh, or you can come to my live show. I'd love to see you in there and get to know you. And if you book once while I'm in there, while I'm live, I'll do it right away for you. Um, I also offer private readings from my website, behealing.com. Find a link for that in the description box below and also up there too. And I get those out within 48 hours of your ordering them. And I make three of these love bigger card reads a week as well. Let me know what you want the next ones to be about in the description. No, not in the description box. You can't change that. Oh yeah, I can do that in the comments below. Well, take a pick now. Crystal, flower or shell. I'll see you in your reading. So if you chose the crystal, and this one's for you. Crystals, let's find out how your person feels about you at the moment. Now, as usual, crystals, there's going to be a deeper dive to this. That's an extended reading that goes with it. If you find that it is your story, could be a story, want it to be a story, then you might want to get that for even more if you do. Toward the end of the reading, I'll be popping a link for it up there. You can also find a link for that in the description box and in the comments below. Crystals, how does your person feel about you at the moment? Let's see. Too many crystals okay sunlight after darkness comes out first so the feeling like you're a good thing you're a good thing after a whole load of bad things um not necessarily bad relationships that they've had although it could be that but it's more they could have really been going through it in their lives you know things not working out for them disruption in their lives um perhaps financial loss or or problems with the work losing the job or something like that and you're this Sunlight after darkness, um, something good in their life after a hard time and bringer of change, bringing change into their life as well and make a wish. So they're wishing for you. They're wishing for something for you as well. They want something good for you. If you have been telling them about something that you want, they want that for you too. They could see that, that, that you could have positive change in each other's lives bring positive change in each other's lives they feel a strong connection with you they're feeling a very strong connection with you now there might be other people around you as well so you there could be a friend of a friend um, you could have the people that are close to them could feel a connection with you too so the family and the friends could be already be connected with you or something like that so there's a level of trust that they've got with you because of joint connections together and so they're feeling a strong connection with you. Now this might be someone that hasn't necessarily um, have trusted themselves to choose well for themselves, choose good people for themselves and there could be a level of confidence that they have because people that they love and trust around them are, are connected with you too. Dream. So they might have dreamed of you, you might be popping up in their dreams. So there's this subconscious connection with you as well. Your subcon their subconscious is thinking about you too. And voyage and anchor. Uh, you might be from different places with this voyage card. Travel is indicated here, but not necessarily travel now or travel together. Um, anchor, but there's 
a groundedness with you and feeling like you ground each other or bring positive change into each other's lives. The feeling good about you, about you being a choice. Eight of Swords, but the feeling like they can't make a move forward, like they're trapped in some kind of a way. Page of Swords, so they're watching you from afar at the moment, from a distance. Perhaps not approaching you. It doesn't feel like you're completely distanced from each other. This It feels, well, some of you could be in a different location with that travel thing indicated, but it's not that for all of you. Some of you might be around this person, but they may not be moving this in in a, a romantic direction at the moment because of that feeling trapped and, and page of swords watching you from afar paying close attention to you queen of wands you're very attractive they're finding you very attractive at the moment but there's also with this energy them being a page you being a queen they might be looking up to you in some kind of a way and they might be thinking like it's up to you to take action to choose them they might not feel chosen by you eight of swords feeling trapped so they're feeling like it's it's not their place to move towards you or to take this further or something like that why the eight of swords the wishing the wishing they were but they think that they're not that they shouldn't that barrier whatever it is is coming up again it's very strong um their belief especially voyage card you could be from different places and different um, cultures have different ideas about relationships and you know who should make the first move and stuff like that now it could be a respect thing out of a respect thing it could be all kinds of things but the feeling like it's it's not their place to move forward or there's some contraindication perhaps you work together it could be a cultural thing or I don't know you've got mutual connections it could have something to do with that so it could be other people are respecting you. Then it might be a respect thing. Letting you make the first move might be a respect thing. Um, what's behind that is ancient wisdom. Yeah, it's something that they've learned. They're looking up to you. They don't feel it's their place to move forward. They're feeling trapped there, like they've got ancient wisdom, a strong belief that there's a reason why they shouldn't. I'm, I'm not saying like they're saying like no to this relationship. They, they obviously see it's a good decision and you'll be good for each other, but there is some belief that is like, no, I can't move it forward. Not that this can't move forward, but they can't do it. Page of Swords, so they're looking at you from afar and they're like paying attention to you from afar. Got their eye on you. But page, page is, it's that novice kind of an energy, like, again, they've got huge respect for you. Strength. Tell me, tell me more. They're seeing how strong you are. They're seeing you as the one that takes action. Tell us more about this page of swords, please. So the seeing crystals has been strong. Seven of voices, but not strong at the same time. The deception in that. Okay. So there's something about you that they're noticing about your strength. Sometimes when we're projecting strength, or when we're strong, it's because it's come from adversity, right? So they might be looking deeper at you. Now that could be what it is, yes. Because with the Eight of Swords, I'm getting they've got a belief. It's like that they, they, they shouldn't. Now, if it is that they're noticing that you're a strong person and they see that that's come through adversity, they might respect you even more and say, I'm going to be gentle with crystals and let them make the first move. It could be that. So the seeing that your strength is a deception, not in a bad way, but just it's not true. Yeah, kind of true strength, but perhaps the scene like it, you've needed to be strong <laughs> and that's different, right? You needing to be strong is different than strength being a natural part of your personality. Let's put it that way. So creativity and integration is behind, behind that. Integrating your lives with each other, creating something together. They've got a respect about you and then they see, they see this weak point, but it's covered over by your strength. 
and for some reason they're thinking that makes it that um, they shouldn't move towards you at the moment or shouldn't push perhaps the feeling it's that and push you to it it's some, a choice that you've got to make yourself could be that Queen of Wands but you're the one that takes action Queen of Wands for emotions I'm disappointed feels like they want you to choose them and you to come up with it they feel like you're a really good match ah oh, they only recognize that strength thing because it's them too okay right so they feel like you're a really good match but they're seeing you as the one that takes action and four of emotions like you're in a place where you're disappointed <clears throat> by what's around you and so they're seeing that this person is really connecting in with you perhaps a little bit too much overthinking it you know self-love and abundance this person is on a very similar trip to you life journey inner work all of that kind of stuff and so they're seeing you pretty clearly but giving you space to make a choice here and you might not have realized that that they're giving you, you space to make the choice of them it's like they don't want to push you to that or even offer themselves. Mm. Oh, tell us more. It feels like someone that is almost taking themselves out of the running, um, holding back. Might be a self-esteem issue for them, you know. Freedom, there's nothing stopping you. The path is clear if you want it to be. So the seeing you is very empowered as the queen, as the one that can take action. They're probably seeing that you could have anyone. And... They're thinking that you're a really good match because they're seeing this depth, they're seeing a, a brokenness about you that's covered over with this strength and thinking you're a match there. But perhaps they're holding themselves back thinking like, well, as soon as Crystals gets over that, they're going to realize that they're amazing, you know, and we won't have this connection anymore. It could be that. So they feel like there's nothing stopping you. Very drawn to you, this person. So, so I think they're seeing like if you healed yourself, you'd move on from them. Do you know what I mean? It's like if they if they came towards you and progresses further, it's the kind of brokenness in them that's attract attracted to the brokenness in, within you in this sea. Like once you sort that out, you'll be gone from their lives because nothing will stop you. Forgive. is a responsible person so they want you to forgive them for letting for not pursuing this or letting go or, or leaving it up to you what else fearing guarded okay so a bit fearful uh, yeah this person doesn't necessarily have all the wisdom here it could be fear causing them to be guarded, causing them to make up reasons why not to approach you and all of that kind of thing. Again, respect. I'm getting they've got huge respect for you, but fear and guarded and it's like, oh, should I move toward crystals? I don't think I should. Making, we've got a lot of reasons why not to, whether it's true or not, I don't know. This is just how they're feeling. I so say they've got strong feelings for you, but they're really convincing themselves not to <laughs> commitment using and self-worth right so this is someone who has got commitment they they will commit themselves but they feel like they could be using you like i said they, they see you as once you've got over this thing that they see you in at the moment or they're imagining you to be in at the moment that you're just going to leave them behind there's not a, a bad judgment of you but they're like they're seeing more in more potential in you than they see in themselves. What would they like to say? I'm afraid of commitment. Okay, they're afraid of commitment. Now they might be seeing that that's what you want right now, and they're afraid. They might not be at the same place. I was pretending to be someone else. This person is learning and growing. I'm planning on reaching out to you. So this is someone that's becoming who they really are and they're having realizations about themselves. It's someone that's maturing. Rose-colored glasses, someone that's very positive, perhaps overly positive. They might be seeing themselves 
like that. I'll come back for you. Like I said, some some of you, this person's in a different place, different location. Just for some of you, that it's not for everybody. But they'll, if that's true for you, they'll come back for you. And silent treatment, spiritual awakening. This person's going through a lot themselves. Like I said at the start, you know, with that bringer of change in the sunlight after darkness, this person's been through a lot. They have. And they're kind of seeing this connection that you've got. And they're seeing the depth of that, but the depth perhaps being a trauma kind of a connection. Strong bond with this person. This could be someone very, you're very close to. You could be very close to this person. Whether we'll head into romance or not. But let's find out. If that sounds like it is your story, it could be a story. You want it to be a story. You might want to get that deeper dive for even more. And let's find out where this is headed and all of that and get you some guidance out. If you're interested in that, I'll pop a link for it up there. There's also a link for that in the description box in the comments below. It's 20 Australian dollars, which is about 15 American dollars right now. And it's an instant watch kind of a thing. You do need to type your email address in very carefully, get that wrong, you won't receive it. Now the email, it might end up in your inbox, but it might end up in your spam junk or promotions folder. Do check those places. In that email, you will find a link to the crystal, the flower in the shell. Click on the crystal on your device that you can open PDFs with in that pdf amongst other things you'll see a picture of a video when you click on that if it doesn't take you right away to a video just try it on a different device and it will so thank you so much for watching and don't forget to click like before you click off down there click that subscribe button if you're new leave a comment that'll get you an entry into a prize draw for a free reading with me at the end of the month as we'll get in that deeper dive as well that'll get you entered into the second prize draw so good luck with winning those uh, but if this is where you're leaving me good luck with all of this if you're coming with me to that deeper dive read then I'll see you in there very shortly. So if you chose the flower, then this one's for you. Flowers, let's find out how your person feels about you at the moment. Now, as usual, flowers, there's going to be a deeper dive to this. That's an extended reading that goes with it. If you find that it is your story, could be a story, want it to be a story, you might want to get that for even more. If you do, toward the end of the reading, be popping a link for up there. You can also find a link for that in the description box and in the comments below. So, how does your person feel about you at the moment? Well... Wanting entanglement, they want to get involved with you. So this is a conscious choice that they're making to be involved with you. That willing entanglement card tends to come out where there could be complications, but they want to go for it anyway. They might be confused as to whether this could work or not, but they want to give it a go. It's that kind of thing. They're willing to get involved here. Tell us more. Adventure. Paradox. You're not what they expected and resilience. They're feeling like you're a very strong person. You hang on in there and resilient. They want to have an adventure with you. But the paradox card says it's, just, it's not what they expected. Like they didn't expect to be drawn to someone like you or for this to happen in their lives right now or whatever. But they're willing to go there and figure out, find out what it is. Meditate. You could have similar spiritual practices and things like that. Could be someone that, yeah, meditates. There's also someone that's been thinking about this as well and they're wanting to go for it. So, tell us more. Ah, disruption. So, going for this, even though they're willing to do it, is bringing disruption into the life. Something else needs to fall apart. But, magician, they're manifesting this. So, using the resources that they've got to make this happen. And the high priestess, this is how they're seeing you. Has been very intuitive, very connected with yourself. That's... They've got a spiritual side to them too, and they're seeing that in you. Ooh, so what's falling apart? What needs to fall apart then? What, why the tower? Why are you bringing disruption into their lives? It's not making them go away from you. It's, it's, it's the, like the winning. Three materials. You could work with each other, or ten of materials. Build something up. They could have built something up with someone else. Three of materials is... is um, part, not partnership so much as working with other people on something. So it could be a work situation, ton of materials, something that they're built with someone else could need to fall apart or needs to fall away or something like that. Could have something to do with the work or previous relationship, that kind of thing. That falling apart, what they've built up previously needs needs to fall apart or to be with you they couldn't be in the same location or or the plans that they had um, what they'd built for themselves or what they saw was their future 
isn't going to be the same thing. You know that our plans change when we meet someone, right? In order to be with someone else. There is something that's got to give. <laughs> like, you can't carry on as we are. Both of you can't carry on as you are, you know. And to have a relationship, it requires compromise of that change. So, but the tower is more than that. It's like something big needs, needs to fall apart. And if they're still choosing you, wedding entanglement, despite something big needing to change in their life, that's a really good thing. There's duality behind that. But there is this, the, the paradox, you know. And that duality, it's, they're very aware of what it is that they need to give up or what needs to fall apart and all of that kind of thing. There is a, a bit of a trepidation about that. So it's not like, yeah, this needs to change anyway. I'm, I'm making that change anyway. There's a bit of like, ooh, trepidation. Magician, but the manifesting, so it could be something that we're manifesting anyway, that change. Use of materials because they want to be more stable and have something for themselves as well, wishing for that. So they were wishing for something for themselves anyway. It's like they wanted to get out of something anyway. And they were wishing for that. But with that star card, it makes me feel like they were thinking that they, they weren't going to do it themselves, you know? You know, when we're, we're trying to manifest change, but we want the universe to do it to do it for us, we're not willing to make that decision to quit that job or that relationship or whatever it is. It's that star wishful thinking trying to manifest it but thinking that it's going to come from outside of themselves rather than them make actually the actual decision now that to me is a bit of a red flag when it comes to this because willing entanglement but you causing a tower that could be that they pin it on you then later do you know what i mean it's like if you're bringing that change into their lives they might say well i did it for you and blame you know if there's negative repercussions from it and there will be because everything is a mix of gift and challenge if they're not taking responsibility for that like doing it for themselves anyway meh, could be a bit of a red flag i'm not saying that they're definitely doing that but they might because it appears like it's something that i'm trying to manifest anyway but it doesn't feel like they've fully take taken ownership of that yet for themselves burden healing energy a new day so they want something new but they've wanted it to come from outside of themselves and manifesting it they're saying that the you you could bring that in but it's still them that's got to take that lead the magician probably hoping that it could happen to them high priestess seeing you the intuitive one connected with the universe Eight of inspiration, outspoken about that. You speak the truth and your intuition. So you've got clarity, a deep clarity about things and the seeing that. Let me just get something else out about that. Two of inspiration. So it's like, it's easy for you because you make good choices. Crossroads energy. The seeing things has been easy for you because you've got this connection. There's a feeling like, You've got, you've got the connection, choices are easy for you, they, they don't have the clarity about it, they don't have that same connection, although they meditate and they wish they had that connection, they don't, and so it's a little bit more confusing for them. Your person's a bit scared here of this change that's coming in, and it's like they're trying to claim it for themselves, they wanted to do it for themselves, but there is a little bit of fluffiness about that. I'm not feeling it strongly that they would have done it for themselves and they're doing it for themselves, whether you're in their life or not unlimited possibilities behind that so because you've got clarity and that intuition and all of that they see that there's unlimited possibilities so this is someone that's looking for changes outside of themselves for it to come to them and they're seeing you as a bringer of that um, because you've got this clarity and there could be unlimited possibilities with you now someone that's not doing that for themselves that, that's a red flag to me mm. just be careful of this person it, it feels like someone that knows that they can almost live vicar vicariously through you or because you make good decisions and you're connected and all of that kind of thing that they can kind of lean on you for that whereas it's better for you to be with someone that's already clear about themselves you know anyway let's find out what i'm not saying say no to this person just they've got to get themselves to that place you know you can't do that for them Life is a series of constantly shifting cycles when we resist change, which is what they're doing, resisting change. We resist the natural flow of life and create unnecessary stress. 
go with the flow, you'll be surprised where it leads. So you might feel encouraging to this person to get them in the flow, but they're not in the flow. There's a resistance of the flow in them. I would wait for this person to make those changes themselves, you know. I wouldn't be part of that myself. Step up and lead, you see. This is definitely someone that was wanting some the change to happen to them so that they don't have to take responsibility for it. Open to change. They're open to the change. And that came out straight away with a willing entanglement. They're open to the change. But it's like they want you to t take responsibility for the change in their life. But they are open to the change. And, and that might be enticing to you if you've been like a rescuer, helper kind of a person, codependent. I might be really, this person might be really enticing. It's like, I can help them out. I can see that they want this. I can see that they're manifesting it. I can take responsibility for this, but you can't. That's the thing. It'll get pinned on you if you do. But you can't wait for this, like, and, and believe in this person and wait for them to do it themselves. That's something totally different. We can't do things for other people. But we can be there for them once they do. Balance. It's a message to find your own balance here, codependency, yeah, watch out, because I, I do feel like I'm, I am speaking to those of you that have been in codependency before, and th there's warning signs here, this could be um, a codependent relationship, don't let it be that, hold, hold back, and but hold hope for this person, they're hopeful about it, this could be good, but you're going to have to negotiate this carefully so that you don't get into negative patterns you know we can have hope for a relationship there can be promise of a good relationship uh, but if we don't give them the space to step up themselves and we can wreck the relationship by going in there and trying to do it for them stepping up and taking the lead it's not a good idea it's not a good idea to pander to people's insecurities right it's like oh i can't do this can you do it or change your life so that you can be with me. No, I can't do that. You need to do that. You know? Um, mm, bad attitude and floating on air. What's that? Something about moodiness. Mm, there's something about moodiness there. It, it, um, bipolar. Um, Perhaps not bipolar, but there's that feeling of like one minute floating on air, the next minute being moody. But this person's in transition. It's not a good time to get into a relationship. You need to wait for this person to make a choice. We'll get into all of that when I get into the deeper dive read about your guidance and all of that and about this. Just know for now that this person, mm, they're not ready yet and you can't do it for them. We enable people, we disable them in a way when we step in there and try and do it for them it'll get pinned on you if you do that the bad stuff not the good stuff <laughs> when we do that it's not they don't go oh i've got good things from this and it's all down to you but when the negative things happen mm -hmm, that'll get pinned on you i check on you from afar they say so they're noticing you focused on you i feel terrible for hurting you this person's pulled back. They're not available, are they? I feel like I can. I feel like I can't give you what you need. Yeah, they can't right now. That's true. I feel like you need to take a step back from this person because they do need to make those changes themselves. You're not the hero in this situation. You don't need to be. Don't be a rescuer. It's codependency. The chemistry between us is off the charts, but there's a strong pull between you both. something I'm hiding from you there's something that they're not telling you it'll be even more complicated than even you know about <coughs> I want a new beginning with you they do they want that and they're trying to manifest that but they're not necessarily taking the actions that they need in order to get that and you do need to wait for them to do that well if that sounds like it is your story could be a story you want it to be a story you might want to get that deeper dive for even more and let's get into guidance for you and how this can work out and are there any more red flags to look out for and stuff like that
how this might play out. If you're interested in that, I'll pop a link for it up there. There's also a link for that in the description box in the comments below. It's 20 Australian dollars, which is about 15 American dollars right now, and it's an instant watch kind of a thing. You do need to type your email address in very carefully, get that wrong, and you won't receive it. Now the email, it might end up in your inbox, but it might end up in your spam junk or promotions folder. Do check those places. In that email, you will see a link to the crystal, flower in the shell. Click on the flower. On a device that you can open PDFs with. In that PDF, amongst other things, you'll see a picture of a video. And when you click on that, if it doesn't take it right away to a video, just try it on a different device and it will. So thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to click like. Before you click off down there, click that subscribe button if you're new and leave a comment. That'll get you an entry into that prize draw for a free reading with me at the end of the month. As we'll get in that deeper dive as well, that'll get you entered into the second prize draw each month as well. So good luck with winning that. But if this is where you're leaving me, good luck with all of this. If you're coming with me to that deeper dive for even more, then I'll see you in there very shortly. So if you chose the shell, and this one's for you, shells, let's find out how your person feels about you at the moment. Now, as usual, shells, there's going to be a deeper dive to this. That's an extended reading that goes with it. If you find that it is your story, could be a story, want it to be a story, then you might want to get that for even more. If you do, toward the end of the reading, we'll be popping a link for it up there. You can also find a link for that in the description box and in the comments below. How does your person feel about you? Well, let's find out. Acceptance, side eye, acceptance, mm, the golden moment, okay, and time to restore. Something has gone wrong in this relationship, someone's got hurt, perhaps both of you have got hurt, they're accepting it, there's something like accepting fault, mm, could be a bit of a stinger for them. Golden moment to sort it out, to apologize, to sort something out. There's a side eye acceptance that it's, it's almost like they don't want to see that they did something wrong, but mm, perhaps they're just coming around to the fact that they did do something wrong and it was their fault. Mm. Our egos are tricky, you know, when, when something is pointed out to us, we get defensive about it. No, I didn't. Oh, that's not me. <laughs> and then, mm, and then we can kind of figure that actually it was gratitude. They're grateful for you. Even though it might be a stretch at the moment to admit that to you, that this person's ego is strong, I'm telling you, and they see a strength in you, like an inner strength in you. You've pointed something out to this person and they don't like it. <laughs> Their ego is gone. Mm. And it's hard for them to let that go. It's hard for them to come to you and apologize and go, oh, actually, you're right. That is hard for them to do. Admitting that they're wrong. What's this? Temperance in the star, but they are hoping that this gets repaired. And there's something about their emotional reactions to you. You trigger this person. And there's something about their emotional reactions to you that they're like, they're hoping that that can be repaired and sorted, sorted out. Not just the problem and the apology and all of that, but the, the, the triggering won't be there for them anymore. That kind of thing, you know? I think... There's a lot of men, no, some, there are some men who, well, there are a lot of men in relationships with women to say that the women are the crazy ones because the women are talking about stuff and bringing stuff up. There's a lot of men like that and they're not seeing their part in it. They're not seeing their crazy making part. Do you know what I mean? That It's just like they've not looked at their patterns and what they're doing enough to recognize that. And there's some of that subset that, will realize that and you've got one here they're kind of realizing oh, yeah perhaps it wasn't me perhaps i should have been more available to that it can take some guys a long time to do that um yeah you could have that one of those on your hands so they're looking at you from afar at the moment page of swords and the moon the hierophant <laughs> They don't know what they've got to learn from this but there, there are spiritual lessons to learn from this and the moon is very much like clueless i don't really know what i'm doing here a little bit emotionally inept strong ego not wanting to be wrong not wanting to admit fault you're triggering to them so you trigger these things which you might very well be aware of that at the moment they're hoping it can be figured out but not just figured out they hope that you're going to stop triggering them which probably won't happen and the moon and the hierophant is like 
It's like spiritual lessons. They're going to get them, right? No matter what. Whether it's through you or someone else, they're going to get them. It's not the universe is like, oh, okay, they don't need to learn this one. They will. You can't sidestep lessons like that. So temperance and the star, they're kind of hoping that you're not going to trigger them anymore. Three of emotions and the four of emotions. Oh, okay. The, it could be third parties involved here that they bring into it. And third parties doesn't have to be someone else. It could be. But it could be things like, I told you that my work was important. And, you know, may, this person will make excuses. Their ego is strong. They'll make excuses like that and might throw that in your face. Like, I told you that, my, that I was going to prioritize my work. You know, when, the, when they've done something to disrespect you, they could make an excuse, like a three of emotions excuses, like something else is important and I told you that, or I told you that I didn't want the commitment, or, you know, it's just that excuse to not face what you've actually told them. This person's got some growing to do, and the four of emotions, they know that you just, they disappoint you in that. The, the, this person is becoming aware of their shit. They are. However, <laughs> unlimited possibilities behind that. They are becoming aware of it. They are. Page of Swords, looking at you from afar at the moment. Side eye like that acceptance though. It's like, oh, this, oh, shell's triggering to me. Can't it just be easy? No, because we've got to get the spiritual lessons. Ace of Voices, they do want to move things forward with you. So they want to start again. They want to start this again, Ace of Voices. Mm-hmm home feel at home with you they feel like you should be together the higher front of the moon though but they don't want those lessons that you're dishing up to them don't want it queen of inspiration but you've got a strong energy you see it's like you will go there and you'll speak out and you'll take that action and you'll say it so it's not something that you're going to let lie so they're confused or or not confused, but the moon card is very much uh, cl clueless. <laughs> They're clueless about the the deeper lesson behind this. This is um this is someone who hasn't necessarily been doing a ton of work on themselves. It's not something that they they focus on a lot, and so they're a little bit clueless as how to look at this. This person would really benefit from getting therapy, but it's the kind of person that wouldn't go and get therapy, you know, willingly probably don't think there's anything wrong with them. We're kind of realizing, uh, Shells might have a point here, but I wish that Shells would stop triggering me instead. Do you know what I mean? There's a bit of an avoidance here. Sexual energy and discernment is behind that too. So they know you're a good choice and you've got an, a strong attraction. So they're finding you very attractive here as well. But um, this lesson thing, oh, they're not so sure about that. <laughs> this lesson thing that you did in them. It's like, why can't it just be, like, no, this is the kind of person that would say, why can't there just be no drama? And you're like, to have a relationship, we need to communicate about these things. It's not drama. You you doing that thing that disrespects me and me not speaking out about that and taking the hit of it, that is drama for me. <laughs> Confronting things, talking about things is not drama. That is a healthy relationship. You know? This person's not really it that point but is it someone that's unhealthy for a relationship not necessarily not necessarily because if you persist and go no i won't let this go and no i won't stop triggering you and no it's not me causing drama it, it is something that needs to be dealt with for a healthy relationship if you persist with that this person very well could drop this perspective but can't it just be water under the bridge, they say? Can't we be free of this? The past is like now behind us. Do we have to face it? I think you'll be pushing to yes. We need to face it. They want to move forward from here and ignore that kind of stuff. But the lessons are still there. You see, this is someone that's wanting to avoid those lessons. I run a mile, you know. Um, I, I swipe left. When, when someone has like, um, I don't want drama or whatever. In the, in the blurb, it's not you know that that's someone that is going to cause drama in a relationship by not taking responsibility for their part in things. I swipe left straight away. It's like, oh, it's so obvious when put some, someone puts something like that of where they're at, you know. We project on other people. I don't want this and I don't want that. That means that you're it. 
you're, you're it. Think it through. So thinking things through and releasing control. Yeah, the ego is strong with this person. So they want to be in control. They want to be the one that's right and stuff like that. It doesn't feel too toxic. It just feels like someone that's struggling with that, that facing themselves and facing what you're telling them about themselves. Family and flirt. Now, there is that three of emotions stuff. Family, putting family first, it could have been something like that. That they might say if they've disrespected you and they put the mom first or whatever, like, and you fight, you face that and you want to talk about that, the disrespect, and, the, and they and they throw it in your face and say, Well, family is important to me, of course, I'm going to put my mom first. That, that this and that can be true at the same time. You can put your mom first and we can talk about this disrespect, you know. It's the flirt, they want it to be fun and flirty and easy. They've got an excuse. This person has got an excuse for not, not resolving things. But right at the start, there's this acceptance golden moment in time to restore. It's like they're, they're becoming open to resolving these things. There's doubt about communication. It's doubt about themselves, you know, whether they're up to it, communicating at the level that you're at. And infidelity and revenge. So if it has been infidelity, that third party thing, they're scared that you're going to do it back to them. This person projects a lot and they don't realize that they're doing it. Yeah, be careful of that because this they might think you're not cool about something and you're going to do it back to them. They, they, they might they're thinking that you are as petty as they are kind of scared that you're as petty as they are and you're like give back as what give back what you what they've done to you to them I don't think this person's on your moral level it's it reminds me you know I'm a really honest person like people that get to know me they really know that I'm a really honest person like I would never like steal anything or do anything like not that I've never done that before I have done that before previously as a child and all of that kind of thing but it's just not me I, I've learned to do the right thing and it serves me well by doing that and then when I meet someone and then they they will go oh you you did you did that, didn't you? Or you, you know, you, you you lied to them, didn't you? And you say, no, why would I lie? But it's just a projection of them. It's what they would do. Or it's like, oh, you checked their phone, didn't you? When the, when they went out of the room, I'm like, no, I would never do that. They're like, but you did. You know, it's it's someone that projects themselves on you like that. That um, watch out for that because they're really telling you like who they are, not who you are, but who you who they are. You make me want to be a better person, they're saying, but yeah, the, but they're not. You are a better person than them, for sure. You're the person of my dreams. I think you're awesome, though. For sure, they think you're awesome. I think you're out of this person's league. Fights, arguments, conflict. They are the instigator of that by being unaware of themselves. And it's not your responsibility to sort that out in them. What else do they want to say? I'm not convinced of that card. Twin flame journey. So they might feel like, and you might have, they might have convinced you or you might have convinced yourself that this is a twin flame journey journey, and the, the problems and the conflict in this shows that it's the means that they're twin flame. Don't believe twin flame. Um, things like that, that dysfunctional is part of the twin, twin flame journey. It's not. Dysfunction is a sign of a dysfunctional relationship as someone that's unable to have a, a healthy relationship. You're the first person to make me feel this way. Perhaps the first person that have made them face up to themselves, that might feel to your ego like a good thing. It's like, yeah, I got this person to face something at least. But choose, pick your challenges. If you want a healthy relationship, you don't want to be having wins like it's not a win to get someone to face something. Pick your challenges. <laughs> I act like I don't care when deep down I really do. I can't stand the thought of you with someone else. Like I said, this person's got a strong ego. Not great for a relationship. Not great for a healthy relationship, this level of ego. 
and projection and stuff like that. So if that sounds like it is your story, could be a story, want it to be a story, you might want to get that deeper dive for even more. Uh, let's get focused on you, your, your, your guidance, relationship with this person. Are there any more red flags that we can pull out to let you know about? How can you make it work really well if you can and how this might all play out? If you're interested in that, I'll pop a link for it up there. There's also a link for that in the description box in the comments below. It's 20 Australian dollars, which is about 15 American dollars right now. And it's an instant watch kind of a thing. You do need to type your email address in very carefully, get that wrong and you won't receive it. Now the email, it might end up in your inbox, but it might end up in your spam junk promotions folder. Do check those places. In that email you will see a link to the crystal the flower and the shell click on the shell on a device that you can open pdfs with in that pdf amongst other things you'll see a picture of a video and when you click on that if it doesn't take you right away to a video just try it on a different device and it will so thank you so much for watching and don't forget to click like before you click off down there click that subscribe button if you're new leave a comment that'll get you an entry into the prize draw for a free reading with me at the end of the month as we'll get in that deeper dive as well that'll get you entered into the second draw prize draw for a free reading with me as well so two chances to win a reading or chance to win two readings two chances to win two re no <laughs> you know what i mean um in this but if this is where you're leaving me good luck with all of this if you're coming with me to that deeper dive read then i'll see you in there very shortly.